Welcome back to More Sit the Telly. And today we're going to take a look at B. John Robinson, our first running back of the 2023 cycle. Uh, consensus that he's probably one of the best players in this draft, but we know the NFL undervalues running backs at this point. So it, the real question is, will a running back get taken in the first round? And I'm pretty sure if there is one that will be taken, it'll be him. But let's get into the film and see why everybody loves B. John Robinson. And I didn't watch a lot of Texas games, so watching this film was was kind of new to me and uh i like what i saw but let's get right into it he's number five watch this jump cut the first the left one makes both linebackers go left he made let me see if i could made this guy and this guy go left then his second little cut you know sets the blocking up where he can scoot he can scoot through there the nastily jump cut, which shows amazing balance. And now he got a hole to hit fit through. Watch how nasty it is. Left, right, and and the linebackers all went left. Well, they're right, his left. And allow him to, to make the secondary cut and get some positive yardage. And that's versus Bama. So that's a pretty good defensive front they were going against. And they didn't run the ball a lot versus Bama. They, they chunked it around. So there were a few... Uh, opportunities to see him run versus Bama because I guess they realized they didn't have a a fair chance up front, so they threw the ball around the yard. Second play, uh, him catching the ball at the backfield. You know, that's one of the traits that we, that most running backs need in order to be a three-down back now to be able to catch the ball at the backfield. Oh, but this is him blocking. Uh, this is him blocking. That's why I got him in here. Watch him blocking in the backfield. I thought that was him they threw it to, but it's not. Right here. So I got hands inside, move your feet. Hands inside, move your feet. Great pass pro. Great pass pro. And if you watch a bunch of a bunch of Texas games, you'll see that a lot of times when he does pass pro, he doesn't stay back there and wait. He's up in here in the line with the lineman. This is one of the few where he kinda, you know, got caught in the backfield and he did a great job of of getting his hands in the right spot and moving his feet. But a lot of times when he does pass pro, he's in here with the lineman, and he don't miss a lot. He don't miss a lot in pass pro. He's a darn good, good pass pass blocker, and um, that's going to help him get on the field fast wherever he uh, lands in the NFL. Let's go to the next one. Watch the footwork. Down here, 62. Don't even touch him. Watch 62. Let's focus on 62. Focus on 62 first. This guy for Baylor. Watch what he does to the center. He gets rid of the center so fast. So right now he's face-to-face -face with Bijan. He doesn't touch Bijan at all. That same little step he gave the Alabama guys, he gave it to him, but in one-on-one, -on -one, and he doesn't touch him. So it should be a tackle in the backfield. Should be a, a TFL for about, let's say, a two to three yard loss. Right there should be. Turns into a five, 10, or a 13 yard gain. His balance, and his balance, his elusiveness, his vision, is top of the line. The NFL just don't value running backs right now. But he, if they did, we'd be talking about him with one of them, them first five picks. If they did. Now, got him motioning him out to play slot. He does have about 30 or 40 snaps at receiver in his repertoire. Now, this is not a great route. It is what it is. But he caught the ball, made the guy miss, got upfield. And if you can motion the guy out the backfield, that creates all kind of matchup problems and makes the defense scurry and try to make sure they got everybody covered. And it just causes confusion. Anything that causes the defense confusion is a plus for the offense. I think this is the one out of the backfield. Him catching out the backfield, I think. Maybe not. Oh, I know what this one is. This is this is the one red flag I had. All right, so he's supposed to be this guy. It's one on one. Give me something to at least make this guy miss. He don't. He don't get. He just try to run through him. There's no 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 pat paps to try to make him miss or. Nothing to, to use this guy out here blocking or anything. He just 
tries to run through him. So how so how elusive is he really? I know how elusive he is in the backfield with, you know, getting rid of um, defense linemen and setting that stuff up with the jump cut and whatnot. But once you get in the open space, how elusive are you? When, you, when you're in space with, with guys that are just as athletic are you, as you, I'm sorry. Let's go to the next one. And it, ain't, it ain't a lot of negatives I saw, but still the few I saw I wanted to, you know, at least speak on them. Outside zone. And this was just blocked perfect, and he hit it. Now, he made that guy miss. It wasn't a, it wasn't a great move, but he made a miss. It, it don't matter how you do it, as long as you do it. Now, again, it wasn't a great move, but he missed, and we'll take it any time. And him making that guy missed resulted in a touchdown. But that was great. That was greatly blocked up front. Let's go to this one. Checking the outside zone. Lurking, lurking, lurking. Sees it starting to open. Stick their foot in the ground. Hit it. And he hit it at the perfect time because everybody just got a hat on the hat. Now he got low, covered the ball. Broke an arm tackle. And we love it. Watch him watch him cover the ball up in, in, in traffic. Right about. Put it real tight and high. Right there. And by him putting it high and tight, that guy swiped at it, didn't even bother it. Didn't even bother. This is details. The details. He got he got felt pressure, put it high and tight, got it away from like they couldn't punch it out from the back or from the side. And when the dude tried to swipe down on it, all he hit was fist and went down his arm. That's the end on this play right here. Everything we talked about is going into one play right here. Good balance. Wasn't nowhere really for him to go, but he kept his feet churning. Kept his feet churning. Watch him throw that arm down for balance. Got that? Got through all that traffic. Turned into a touchdown. Now, what what I don't think he has, I don't think he has that burner, burner speed. I think if he run anything 4-4-ish at the combine, if he participates in the combine, or anything 4-4-ish at his, at his pro day, he potentially could get in the first round. Because that's the only thing I think he's lacking, that, that long – that long like endurance speed. I think he's quick enough to get in and out of, you know, situations in the backfield and in the flats. But when he when he break out of that, can he take it to the crib? Like if, if can he take a a dive to the crib without the without the cornerbacks and safeties catching him down? Possibly, possibly. The thing is that running back is you don't have to be blazing blazing fast to do that. You can be a good four four dude with, with good quickness and good balance, which is what I think he has, and then make it work. You can make it work. And this game right here, I'm, you know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but this game featured two darn good running backs. The one for K-State, I think he's number 22. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And then B. John Robinson. So two darn good running backs was in this game. So I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're a fan of running backs, you got you got a, a good dose of it in this game. But let's get to the scores for B. John Robinson. So B. John, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, is the highest rated player I have on the board so far like his his numbers are off the chain Bijan had a 79 in vision a 79 in pass pro a 79 in catching a 72 in elusiveness a 73 in yak which puts him at a total of 76.4 uh, which makes him my number one running back even though he's the first running back and uh, puts him up there with probably some of the higher rated numbers that I have. Let's see where that ranks. That is the second highest number I had behind Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. That's put two point two points off of the highest rated person I have. So that's that's fairly high. Again, Bijan Robinson, a running back from Texas, seventy six point four. I appreciate you guys for coming through on more Sip the Tally. Uh, if you can like the channel, if you like what you saw, also subscribe. Once you do so, hit the bell so you can be notified when these random draft videos drop. And share. Share it in your group chats. Share it in your Facebook. Share it on your Twitter. Share it on your Instagram, TikTok, and all that good stuff. So I appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. It helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys soon, man. Peace.